Welcome to Link G4X Training Part 12. In this video, we're going to take a look at working with the various types of fuel injection modes we're going to find available in our PC Link software. So depending on what kind of configuration we have and what kind of engine we're controlling, we might be able to choose different types of fuel injection modes. This might be if we have a throttle body based fuel injection, which is going to be kind of the old school way of fuel injection from cars from the late 70s, or early 80s. And then we can move into working with a batch fire style injection where we're going to be firing uh, all the injectors at one time. If we have two different banks, it's also known as a bank to bank. So one bank of a V6 engine will fire, then the other bank will fire in, in order as we're programming it. We also have a sequential style fuel injection. That's going to be the ideal way to inject our fuel. It's going to be timing it based on the camshaft rotation and our number one cylinder position. And then as we specify the firing order, we'll make sure that the fuel is going to be injected on all the other cylinders against the intake valve opening. We want to make sure we're getting the fuel injected when the intake valve opens rather than a random spot within the auto cycle. We also have a semi-sequential mode. That's going to be when we don't have enough injector drivers to be able to drive all the injectors in a sequential style operation. And then finally, we're going to have stage injection. That's going to be where we have two different sets of injectors and we want to make sure that we have the injectors not spray at the same time. We can stage them to have them come on a little bit later into boost or into higher RPM. There's going to be all kinds of conditions we may want to have for stage and fuel injection. So we're going to be breaking everything down here in the video, just understanding the different modes and understanding which one to select based on the application you're working with. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our injection mode programming in our PC Link software. Our injection mode is going to be related to how we want to control our injectors based around what kind of engine we have, how many number of injectors we have, how many more available injector drivers we have, depending on our Link G4X box that we're programming and working with. So there's going to be some details we need to cover here in order to understand our options and what to choose so that your injectors are controlled properly and safely in your G4X system. So the first thing we're going to do is jump into our basics page. We can find we're actually in that right now here on screen. We're going to move into the left hand side of the screen and we're going to find we have our area called fuel main. This is where we program our injection mode. We find we have different options here available to us. Let's go into injection mode here, double click and we can find our pop up window here has some options for us to choose from. So we have off as an option. We have single point group, multi point group, sequential, grouped slash staged, sequential slash staged, sequential multi point group and finally semi sequential. So these are the options we have available to us. They're going to be configuring our injector outputs differently based on what we choose here. So these are very specific and we need to understand and be familiar with our choices so that we can select the correct type. So we're going to control our engine properly, control our injectors properly. So very first option here, let's talk about this. This is going to be our off option. This is going to be shutting off the injector output from all injector drivers. This is going to be used if we want to go and essentially uh, shut off the fuel delivery to the engine. Maybe we're trying to do some kind of diagnostic or testing purposes and we don't want the injectors to pulse as we're cranking over the engine. Um, an example of this would be if we want to check our spark and we want to crank over our engine and check uh, spark on all the cylinders. We don't want our fuel injectors to spray fuel. If the, uh, if the fuel is getting into the cylinder, it could wash the cylinder wall out. We could flood out the engine, all things we want to avoid. So we would want to go and uh, choose our option here of off. We can find right now the injection dead time here is running. Um, the injector pulse width and the uh, effective injector pulse width, you can see that these are zeroed out because my engine speed is zero. The engine's actually not running here. But if the engine was running, we would find that these would be populated with some kind of calculated pulse width. The injector would be opening and closing. If we want to shut that off again, we would choose our off option here. If we click OK, notice that everything in our fuel main drops out, it's all uh, disappears. And then we can find the injection dead time here uh, the, or the latency. That goes away as well because we want the injector to turn off. We don't want anything on. So it essentially bypasses everything here related to any kind of fuel delivery. So again, this is more of a diagnostic uh, purpose or maybe if you flooded the engine out, you want to get some of that uh, fuel out of the cylinders rather than pulling the spark plugs out and trying to clean everything out. You can go here to injection mode and set it to off and crank over the engine a whole bunch of times and clear out that fuel, let it dry out in the cylinders so you can try to fire it up again and get it running. So. We go here and go from off. Let's go to our next option here, single point group. Let's talk about this. So a single point group is going to be probably better known as throttle body injection. This was really popular on really early EFI cars. So from the early 80s, mid 80s, we found that there was uh, a lot of manufacturers were putting a fuel injector or fuel injectors before the throttle body or immediately after the throttle body. And the fuel would spray, it would get into the, uh, to the intake manifold and 
distribute through the engine, through the plenum and the runners, really isn't an efficient way of... Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.